Hi guys, so this is gonna be the last video in the All About Exams series. At this point, I expect you to be telling me what are the typical things in the exam. So this is course number four exam, so tell me how long is the exam? How many questions are on the exam? What is the passing grade? Okay, you see where I'm going with this? You, you gotta know your stuff. So in general, you should know my pro tips on things to bring to the exam. Maybe you can tell me now. And what's something that you should not do on Facebook before your exam? But yeah, so this exam is three hours. It's 115 questions. It costs $100 to buy the exam. This is the fourth theory exam. If you are at this point, you are so close. And congrats for getting this far. Doing this program, it's not easy beans. You need to feel accomplished. You need to be celebrating after each and every exam and like a times 10 celebration after you've completed the course. So start thinking of ideas from now. So of all the exams, this exam for course number four is the easiest. If you are a part of some of the Facebook groups, which I'll link above or below, there is so much, so much good feedback on this exam, not about Proctor Track, but about the actual exam and the questions. A lot of people are just saying it's just common sense. And um, one person even commented that they didn't read modules 10 to 15 and still passed. So I'm not telling you to do that. I don't suggest that you do that, but it's just to emphasize the point that this is not a complicated process. Okay, so I just wanted to add in a quick part here because this video I had actually filmed two days before my actual exam and reading everyone's reviews on Facebook, it seemed like it was gonna be a no brainer and I was gonna pass it no problem. So I really took that for advantage. But my actual experience with the course four exam was pretty much the opposite of what everybody was claiming. I found it to be like, it wasn't super hard, but it wasn't super easy. So I actually didn't read modules 14 and 15 and man, I wish I did. I really wish I did. But in general, the course readings, it's very repetitive. You're reading a lot of information that you've already read in modules, sorry, in course two and three. And then you're also within the, the same module, there will be information that's just repeated two or three times. It's annoying, but on the other hand, it's less new information to learn, so there is a bright side to it. But in general, make sure you read all the content and make sure you use the study tools. I didn't have Pass It, so I used Quizlet, which honestly saved me and probably allowed me to pass. But everybody has different experiences, plus there are more than one versions of the exam, so you never know what you're gonna get. This course number four focuses very heavily on commercial content. So not everybody does com is gonna be specializing in commercial, so I think it's not something they're expecting you to know in detail, but as being a licensed real estate realtor, it is something that you can do trading in, so it's something they do have to educate us in because it's not like they have an alternative license or a specialty license for commercial trading. So yeah, so just in general, it's heavy, it's heavy on the commercial side. During the readings, I was actually, this took me quite long to get through the readings, just because I really wasn't even so motivated. Honestly, going through this whole process with all the delays and the technical issues and stuff, it can really take a toll on you. But the, just in general, the content being so heavy commercial and knowing that I'm not gonna be specializing in commercial, at least not for the good like five years of me starting in real estate. I'm like, I really, reading this information is really just for, just to pass the exam. So in any event, it's still content. You do need to read it to pass. So do the content. If you're lucky enough, hopefully pass it. will be out for this course by the time you're ready to write it. I'm sure if you read the content and do pass it for a week, you'll be set. After this, you purchase course number five, which is just three hours of reading and no exam. And uh, actually, sorry, depending on where, when you are, like right now there's, 
there's a lot going on with the school right now. So there's some conditional licensing going on. Some people can skip the Sims classes or skip Sims number two. But um, in general, after, in general, the progression of the courses is course one, course two, course three, Sims one, course four, Sims two, course five. So once you complete all of those, you get your realtor license, sorry, your real estate salesperson license. And then once you have that and you're hired by a brokerage, you can then apply to RICO, which is the Real Estate Council of Ontario, to get your actual license to do trading in real estate. Some people don't get hired by a brokerage until they're completed the old until they've completed all the schooling. Some people get hired by a brokerage while they're in school or even before school and um, get their license afterwards. So you do what works for you. I wish you the best. Congratulations on getting this far. And I hope to see you in the real estate market. If you hope to see me, like and subscribe and I'll know for sure. Thanks guys and have a wonderful day.